Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on the first page of your non-exam assessment um, which is to understand the purpose of creating a mind map. Now uh, there are three possible themes for this year's NEA climate change, playing games or securing or storing personal items and you need to make a decision fairly quickly about which one of these you do. Just to run you through the NEA and what's involved we're expecting a submission around February 2024 um, and what's assessed is a, it's a big design and make activity relating to one of the themes and it's worth 50% of your GCSE. So it's released now and it's expected to be about 30 to 35 hours of study time um, which um, sounds like a lot you may do more than that when you factor in homework. So an electronic uh, portfolio uh, will be submitted uh, along with photographic evidence of your final prototype it's going to be about 20 pages of a PowerPoint. So as I said, these are the three challenges. We would encourage you just to focus on either playing games or securing or storing personal items. These are probably the most easily deliverable projects. You can design and make anything you want so long as it relates to the contextual challenge. So that's the key point. You could design and make anything so long as you can link it to the themes. Now, um, the first page is your mind map. So our objective, first of all, is to understand the purpose of the mind map and then to learn how to create your own, which thoroughly explores design possibilities. If we look at the mark scheme for section A, um, it's about five pages, uh, it's worth 10 marks. It doesn't sound like a lot, the whole project's out of 100, but unless you do well in this section, it's gonna limit your marks later on. So how is section A uh, assessed? If we look at the mark scheme, this, this, this top band of marks we're looking at to begin, especially the top upper marks, so if we go through that, it says design possibilities identified and thoroughly explored, directly linked to a contextual challenge, demonstrating excellent understanding of the problems or opportunities. So look at those keywords. That's what you need to hit for the top marks for this page. What does that mean in plain English? It means, you, it means you've got to identify multiple issues relating to your chosen theme and come up with lots of possible opportunities. Here's a good example of a mind map. Okay, as you can see there, um, the theme is in the middle, outdoor living, and there's different coloured branches exploring um, various aspects of that. So for example, if I go to sports and activities, there's a comment here, badminton and tennis are both popular sports. I could create a base that has arms that could fold out and extend, place rackets and balls. So uh, it's sort of a possible opportunity related to that theme. Nice to have it colour coded. Nice to have a summary explaining what you've learnt and what your next steps would be. Your, for top marks you really thoroughly need to explore that idea and have the page filled with issues and opportunities. So here are some possible ideas just to get you thinking. I'll give you some more later. Um, by all means take inspiration but don't just copy. Here's an example. Um, I would start with an introduction uh, in your top corner of your mind map. Start with the context then in the middle. So for example, if it was playing games, you could put that in the center and then a brief explanation of what that means to you. Then your initial thoughts and keywords. Okay, so it might be something like that. And please, by all means, pause, rewatch, get ideas um, as best you can. And then branch out from those keywords. So for example, educational games, it could be aiding learning in school. And then one issue relates to numeracy, blah, blah, blah. One issue is a challenge that toddlers have in learning to walk, blah, blah, blah. So a good way of doing it is theme, keywords, issues, opportunities. Uh, and then conclude with uh, a summary. So based on the mind map, opportunities you want to take forward include what? Okay, don't say exactly what you're going to make at this point. Just say the ones you're most interested in for further research. It could be handwritten, and here's an example. So this one starts with storing uh, and securing personal items. There are the keywords, and then they've got different branches um, which go, uh, here's an issue. Phones are high value items that are often targeted by thieves, and then a solution could be. Okay, and you could, label, you could have different branches there for possible solutions to that issue. Here's another one. Laptops are often used for work and entertainment. Uh, they need charging when not in use and therefore I could build some sort of charging port for a laptop storage item. So again here you've got issues leading to possible solutions. This green branch at the bottom, 
clothes, coats and shoes. One issue is that shoes often clutter up hallways, so there's an opportunity for a shoe storage device that uses space efficiently. Here are some more opportunities, uh, some sort of more um, ideas for products. So choose, you know, come with some of these as part of your mind map if you want. But again, don't just copy, come up with plenty of your own, please. And then my final instructions for you today. Start with a the theme in the center of your page. Briefly write what you understand about that theme. Write ten to five to ten subtitles or keywords that come to mind. Branch off each subtitle with descriptions of possible issues and opportunities. And then conclude with a brief paragraph explaining what you think is the most promising opportunities for further investigations. Here are some do's. And here are some don'ts. Okay, so don't just list one opportunity and an issue. Think of multiple ones. Here's a possible layout for your page, but please, you know, make it your own. It's completely up to you how you do it. Okay, play, pause, rewatch as you see fit, and best of luck.